this Thanksgiving holiday, you or someone sitting next to you at the table probably suffered from heartburn, indigestion, or some other food-related symptoms. In fact, we have some people out here in the mall, uh, just by show of hands, guys, how many of you guys experienced heartburn? Wait, every single person in that group. My goodness. Okay, well, I'm sorry about your heartburn, but pay attention to this next segment. Uh, our next guest is here to share a solution that could stop your symptoms for good. Dr. Elias Dorito from Houston Heartburn and Reflux Center is joining us along with patients Raymond Torres and Anna Asaba. Yes. Did I get it right? Okay, we'll, we'll hear from the patients in just a moment. But first, Dr. Dorito, I want to ask you, it seems like heartburn, we just saw a show of hands, and I know I've experienced it. This is a common problem, right? It's a very common problem. Actually, it's an epidemic now. So 30% of the population uh, suffer from heartburn. Now, people usually down some sort of antacid. Maybe they take uh, an over-the-counter medication, or maybe they even have a prescription from their doctor. What's wrong with taking a medication for something like this? Well, I mean, there's nothing wrong taking medications to treat a problem. Uh, first, though, you have to get diagnosed. You have to be diagnosed with the problem, and not just self-medicate yourself with medications over-the-counter. Okay, and when you say you have to diagnose the problem, if I'm having occasional heartburn, maybe I have three slices of pizza before bed. <laughs> it just happened last week, actually. Um, and I wake up and I, and I have an acid reflux or heartburn. H how do we know when it's really more than just a normal thing? Yeah, so if you're having heartburn on a daily or weekly basis, then this is a disease. This is the, what we call gastroesophageal reflux disease. And it's no longer an occasional symptom. It's something you're suffering from on a daily or weekly basis. At this point, you ought to see a doctor, a specialist in acid reflux. Okay, so what, describe the procedure then or the, or the treatment that you guys do because you believe in actually getting to the root of the problem and doing a procedure to, to stop things once and for all. We, uh, we believe in staging the disease and tailoring the treatment to the particular stage. So if you are stage one, then maybe lifestyle changes are more than enough for you to control your symptoms. So if you have heartburn after you eat three or four slices of pizza, maybe next time you should eat two or and maybe avoid it. Some of these symptoms then of silent reflux we were just seeing on the screen, um, I mean, in terms of the differences between a symptom or a silent symptom, what do you mean by that? So most patients with acid reflux disease have the typical symptom, which is heartburn which is the burning sensation behind the breastbone. A category of acid reflux patients have, don't have heartburn. They have laryngopharyngeal symptoms. They have symptoms in their throat, like cough or hoarseness or feeling a lump in the throat. Uh, these patients suffer from what we call silent reflux or laryngopharyngeal reflux. Wow, it all sounds very scientific, but it is very, very common. So, Anne, tell, tell me about your, uh, your issues, because I understand you, you suffer from heartburn. Or you I did. had it bad, yes. Um, you know, for years I thought it was just allergies. I had the cough, I had nasal drip, and it was just, it was crippling. I, I would wake up and I would start coughing, and I'd cough all day. And by the time I got home, I had no energy, and my chest was always on fire. I, I had it pretty bad. And what, and what did you do about it? Um, well, I went to see Dr. Dorito, and we diagnosed that all these years I'd been treating the symptoms, but not the actual cause of all these problems. So we decided on surgery as the way to go ahead and fix this acid reflex. And I can remember vividly asking him, okay, after we do the surgery, how long before all the burning and the cough goes away? And he's like, immediately. And I remember day two after surgery, I just kind of realized I hadn't coughed. I had no more acid reflex. And I think wow. I started to cry because I was just so overwhelmed with, with joy and gratitude that that wasn't going to be my norm anymore. And Raymond Torres, tell me about your experience because you were having similar issues. Yes, I uh, suffered from acid reflux for many years. I couldn't even pinpoint when it all started. But yeah, I just treated the symptoms with uh, medication over the counter. And I really did not realize that it, that it could be treated. I really did not know until I started uh, doing my research. And when I did that, that's when I, of course, discovered Dr. Dorito specializes in that uh, treatment. And um, it worked. And I no longer have any symptoms. The symptoms that I had was um, hoarseness, coughing, clearing my throat all the time, and um, waking up at 2 in the morning with my gastric contents all the way up into my throat 
and uh, I was aspirating. And it took the fourth episode to finally realize I needed help. And so I went to Dr. Dorito, and yes, he helped me. I don't have any more symptoms. So Dr. Dorito, I mean, that's amazing that the symptoms stopped immediately. Now, a, a lot of times if we're seeing just a typical doctor for this issue, they're going to put people on a pill regime. Yeah. And we believe that uh, a pill doesn't uh, treat every single aspect of acid reflux disease. So when you have advanced stage acid reflux disease, pills and lifestyle changes by themselves do not work anymore. And isn't it true that some of these prescription pills can actually lead to some pretty serious long-term side effects? And that is true. Now we know that these pills, when you take them for many years, they do cause a lot of side effects, uh, like dementia, heart problems, uh, kidney failure, uh, osteoporosis. So these are serious side effects that may develop from taking pills for so many years. Okay, Dr. Dorito, we need to have you back and continue the conversation. Uh, who knew that acid reflux could take up so much time, right? And Raymond, thank you also for yeah. coming on and sharing you. your stories. And for more information on Houston Heartburn and Reflux Center, you can call 832-945-8717 or visit HoustonHeartburn.com.